Hey, it's Rick Barker, and I am excited that you are here as today I am going to share with you some new strategies and resources that are available to you when it comes to fan growth and social media. The days of social media have changed. I don't know if you're aware of that, and I'm sure you are, but there was a time when we were utilizing social media to grow our numbers. Uh, we were trying to do everything we can to get as many followers as possible, as many likes as possible, and things like that. Well, today's social media is more used towards engaging the people that you already have. We'll run ads. We'll do things to bring new people into our world. That's what some of these cool strategies I'm going to show you here uh, in a second are going to be perfect for. But it's what you do after the people that are in your world is what's going to make the difference for you and your music business. And what I mean by that is that ultimately, no one has to pay to hear your music, and that sucks. So what are they ultimately going to invest in? It's going to be the relationship that you build with them. So the strategies that I want to talk to you about today are with Instagram. There's a new platform that is allowing us to do things with Instagram and Facebook automation that is an absolute game changer. I'm going to share that with you. And then there's some things that are available to you that I don't know if you're using them uh, on TikTok and Instagram Reels. So when it comes to social media today versus social media from what it was, social media today is where we need to use it to maintain engagement with the fans that we already have. The people that are going to see it are going to be the people who already follow you. If the people that already follow you start engaging with it, then Instagram now will start showing it to people outside of your network. How many of you have been on Instagram and you'll see in your feed, which is usually just whoever you follow, you're seeing what they're posting, will get a notification that says, because you interacted with so-and-so, we thought we would show you this. Exactly. I'm starting to get a lot more of that as well. Now, for me, it's usually golf-related stuff or animal-related stuff because I'm constantly sharing reels with my daughter on kittens and things, and I'm a, a big golfer, and I follow a lot of golf people. So I'll get golf, I'll get animals, and I'll get music. So what that means is that because I engaged with something else, they're now going to give me the opportunity to see something from someone who I don't follow. Now, that's very important for you because the more engaging you can make your content, the more opportunities you're going to have to be shown to a complete stranger, and that's a good thing. So some of the things that Instagram has just allowed us to do, which I'm a big fan of, is they're now allowing us the opportunity to uh, create from our desktop. Not everyone likes to be on the phone. A lot of the older clients that I work with are still desktop people. So as of, yes, I think it was two days ago, let me share my screen with you real quick. You can now, that's what this plus button is for, at the top of Instagram, you can now select from your computer and schedule or uh, and post directly to your Instagram page from desktop. Before we were only really able to go in and do comments. Another thing you might notice with Instagram right now is that Instagram is allowing you to pin up to three posts. Now, here's why that's important. I'm a huge fan of discovery. When people find you at discovery, too often when they get to your Instagram page, they would only see what it is that you posted last. A lot of people are doing stupid, goofy, fun, whatever. It might not necessarily show them who you are as an artist, who you are as a musician. So now you have the ability to pin that. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that with your phone. So we're gonna jump into our phone. And once we go into the iPhone, we're gonna open up Instagram. Okay, so here's my Instagram page. As you can see, there's the first post that has the little pin the second post with a pin, all you do is tap on any post that you have. So I'm gonna tap on this new one uh, about my podcast with uh, Abe from BeatStars. If you haven't listened to it yet, please do. All you do is take the three dots in the very top, see those three dots, click on it, put pin to your profile. And now when we go back to the profile, it is the newest one there. And then when you go back and see it, 
inside of Instagram and we refresh this page, you're now going to see that this one's posted, pinned, this one's pinned, this one's pinned. Now there's a whole bunch of other stuff. You can rotate them around. If there's something that you have going on, if you have something that you've used in the past and you want to go up and change it, uh, you can constantly rotate those around. Whatever you pin is going to move to the front and scoot the other ones aside. Does everybody understand that? So if you pin something, it goes first. If you had something previously pinned, it will all get moved to the side. So what I want you to do is I want you to, when we're done with this, you can only pin by using your phone, okay? So now you can schedule by using your computer, but now you can pin by using your phone. The reason that I like that is because we've been able to pin to the top of your Facebook page. We've been able to pin to TikTok. We weren't able to pin to Instagram, but that's where a lot of the activity is happening from right now. So this gives you a great opportunity to do that. I would also encourage you with the pinning is to repurpose, or as I like to say, recycle. Go find content that, that was awesome and bring it up every now and then rotate that first pin or the first, you've got three options. So go find something from an old video shoot or something that was exciting and go ahead and bring that back to the top. You don't always have to be creating new material. That's one of the biggest things that I hear when I, when I talk to artists right now, and I, I'll ask them sometimes, what are the problems that they're having? Actually, we'll, we'll do it with you. What are some of the problems that you're ha having when it comes to social media? Uh, what, what, are, what are some of the things that have been holding you back? Okay, engagement. What to post, yep. Ooh, the big one, time. Yeah, those are the same problems I have. It's the same problems that other people have. You know, coming up with content to post. Here's the easiest way to create content for your audience. I'm just going to, I wasn't going to share this with you, but I, you guys mind if I share something with you that I wasn't planning on sharing with you? It might go, it's, it's still on topic, but it's, it's my cheat, <laughs> okay? It's the way I get away with it. Okay. Now, mine's going to look really weird because I told you what I do is that I, I follow a lot of different people. So whenever I'm struggling with something to post, so if we're on my page right now, you notice across the top, there's this person's live. Lisa Adio just uh, did a story. Cato, the producer, did a story. Matt Morse did a story. The Seth Mosley did a story. So if we look at my profile, I'm following 7,400 people, but Instagram decided that they were going to pick these people out and put them front and center in front of me. Okay, does everybody see what I'm referring to up into the top there? Those little red circles. Okay, what's up, Matt? Those little red circles. Now, I'm here, I'm watching, okay? Now, all of a sudden, I can go on Cato, and now I'm in Cato's world, okay? So how do, what if I don't have anything to post? What if I don't feel that my story is that important? Well, what I do is I go down into reels and down along this very bottom line in the middle, that little camera action kind of, I don't even know what that's called. Anybody even know what that's called? It's like a slate. It's like a movie slate is what it looks like. So when you click on it, we're now in reels. PSA, man. Don't call me for the... Okay. All right. So all I have to do is click the little paper airplane to the bottom and add this to my story. And all I'm going to write is cracked me up. That little sneak. Okay. So all I did get that where people can see it. All I did was recycle someone else's post. I remixed it as I called it. So this made me laugh. 
this, so whatever it is that you grab, now I just put post to my stories. And now if you're following me, it will have just showed up on the top page, a little red circle that says Rick Barker music. All we're trying to do as often as we can is get our name in front of our followers. Does everybody understand what I mean by that? We're constantly just wanting to be top of mind. We don't have to be promoting your music all the time in order to be successful in the branding part of the world. I don't have to be making offers or doing anything. I just want you to constantly see my name because when you're like, damn, I, I, I see that guy everywhere. Well, then that's just going to ultimately help build my brand and build my credibility. So here's one of my clients, BJ. Uh, here's the news we've all been waiting for. My episode of AGT is airing Tuesday, July 12th. So I'm going to push, I'm going to save this. So if I like it, right down here in the bottom right, there's that little tag. It says save to my collection. You can go create some collections. The more you know about your audience, the more you're going to be able to find stuff to save. And then you just open up, you go into the very, I'll show you how to find this. Go up to the top three in the corner. You're going to go to saved. And as you see, I have some audio posts, some ads, some marketing, some future posts, things that I want to post in the future, things that I liked. You can create this up however you want to create it. All you do is add the name of the collection, and you can just call it future post animals, future post music, future post movies, you know? So it's really cool to go out and grab things like you know, if you know your audience, you know, maybe the movies they're watching, the books they're doing, the stores they're shopping at, anything that's that's fun to you. But remember, once you bring it into someone's world, tell them why it made you laugh, why it made you cry, why it made you think, why it made you wonder, why you shared it. And that's you putting your personality on someone else's material. Does that help? Awesome. Yeah. And, and the more you do it, the more you're able to share your personality with people, too which is super, super cool. Uh, because like I said, sometimes in the very beginning, okay, full disclosure, I only showed up when I was trying to sell something. I really only showed up on social when I was trying to promote something. Yeah, I, I think we've all been guilty of that, okay? It was once I learned that social media is not about me, it's about the end user, that changed the game for me. Once I realized if I want my interaction to be with you, I need to appeal to you when you're scrolling down your feed. That's the same thing for you and your fans. All right. So that's uh, one of the things that I'm loving or two of the things that I'm loving now about Instagram is one, you can, you can now post from the desktop and this whole penning post Make sure that when people find you, your bio set up properly, they can, they can see you, hear you, connect with you. They're able to get something music related. You wouldn't believe the number of people that I go on their site and I have no idea that they're an artist. There's 97 pictures of them posing or doing something dumb and, it, and they're out there trying to get people to enjoy their music and at no time are they sharing their music. So make sure that you've got that music front and center. Now, how many of you who said time, one of the biggest complaints that we've had with Instagram and Facebook for a long time, and artists would come to me and say, Rick, I just don't have the time to answer all the comments or the DMs that I get. How many of you have felt that struggle, have felt that pain, that it's just, it's the time thing. I'm not here. I'm not as active as I should be. I'm not maintaining these relationships. Me, 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 me. Yeah. Okay. Me as well. Well, here's what happened. There's this cool tool. It's the only tool right now that is 100% meta approved, okay? Meta is the person, they, that was Facebook. Facebook changed their name now, they're meta and they're Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Oculus, all the things that go under that nice big umbrella. So what they created was a platform called Instachamp. Now Instachamp, let's go to the page, Instachamp, allows me the ability to automate <laughs> this is going you're going crazy keywords i can create a dm greeting so that everyone who dms me will get a greeting and then i can guide them down the way i'm going to show you exactly how these look in a second post comments 
story reactions, people that react to your stories, there's a way to automatically go in and thank them. And this one, I don't know if you're doing Instagram Lives. If you're not, I encourage you to do so. Instagram Lives, Facebook Lives, those are worldwide venues for you, okay? So you now have the ability to keyword uh, during your Instagram Lives. And over on Facebook, we have the ability to do DM keywords, a DM greeting, and post comments. So automatically, if you create one, it will create on the other. So let me go in and show you. Is this cool? Yeah, I got pumped, pumped. And I'm gonna show you exactly uh, where you can go. I have a treat for you there, Matt. So check this out. So right now, whenever anyone sends me a DM, here's what it looks like. Thanks so much for reaching out. I get a lot of DMs, but yours is important to me and I will get back to you ASAP. If you happen to be reaching out for help with your fan growth strategy, just DM the word growth and I will get you hooked up. If it happens to be something else, just tell me what it is and I will respond as soon as I can. Okay, non-spammy, non-creepy, not like the little bot doing all the little dots and all that craziness. Okay, this is just something. And by the way, if you like this, thanks so much for reaching out. I give you permission, steal it, use it. Okay, because uh, then you could do it like this. Thanks so much for reaching out. I get a lot of DMs, but yours is important to me and I'll get back to you ASAP. By the way, if you haven't had a chance to check out my new song, here's the link to do so. And you could go in and you could drop a link. They could click on it. They could listen to your music. So we have the ability to do that. I also have the ability to do DM keywords. So let's say that you, know, you do a cool post and on that post, you're holding up new shirts. Oh my gosh, so excited. Just got these new shirts in. There's only 10 of them available. If you would like one, just type the word merch in the comments. They type the word merch. It sends them a link. And now all of a sudden they are going, it will look something like this. You know, this isn't the merch, but it's all oh, here. I'll show you. It's I'll show you the one we did for my book. Where we go. Here's the book. Hey, thanks for DMing. You can grab a free digital copy of my book by clicking the button below ricksfreebook.com. That's where they go. They get a free copy of my book. If you are trying to run a pre-save, you could do that with a pre-save. Just, you know, type the word save in the comment and it takes them right to wherever your pre-save is. What we learned, and tell me if this is true for you, is what we learned is that when we tell people go to the link in our bio, no one ever goes to the link in our bio because they don't want to leave. So if they just type a word in the comments, and it automatically sends them a message. They can keep doing what they're doing and we can get right. And they'll all of a sudden be reminded because you also have the ability with Instachamp to be able to trigger a follow-up where you could remind them, hey, don't forget you said that you wanted to pre-save the song. Here's the link. Once again, you have the ability to do the follow-up. And what I do with the story reactions, this is super cool because when you, when you respond to someone who does something nice for you, what do you think the chances are of them doing something nice for you again? Yeah, it's very high. So right now I have a story reactions. Uh, I don't have a story mentions and I'll tell you why here in a second. Hey, just wanted to say thanks so much for engaging with my stories. I hope all is well. Done. So what happens here is if anybody does an emoji or a text, I don't know if you're aware of this right now, but inside of your stories, you can tell people swipe up to leave a comment or swipe up to leave a reaction. If anybody swipes up, leaves a comment, leaves a reaction, they will get that will get triggered and they will be notified. So that's super cool as well. I do not do story mentions. And the reason that I don't, and then we'll move on, I'll show you how you can get Instachamp for yourself, uh, is that if somebody's tagging me, a lot of people tag me just to try to get my attention. I don't wanna thank them for tagging me. Actually, I would like to tell them stop it, but we don't have that set up yet. But yeah, it's kind of weird when, when that happens. So what I want you to do, so does it send the same message every time they react? Uh, it does. Yeah. And, and people, what it is, is they get it and they appreciate it. And you can reach back out and say that to them as well as, as I do. Uh, let me share with you this Rick Barker.com forward slash Insta, let me show you what is on that page. And I'm going to show you 
that out what my gift to you is rickbarker.com forward slash insta so insta champ reached out to me and gave me the opportunity here's if you just go to this page rickbarker.com forward slash insta i will walk you through a demo much deeper than what i just shared with you on how this works i'll also give you the opportunity if you would like to have it to get platinum access lifetime platinum access now normally InstaChamp is $9.95 a month for only 500 message sends and contacts. I've been granted the opportunity through InstaChamp to be able to offer you lifetime access. We have a 25,000 message package of 50,000 and 100,000. And instead of it being a monthly recurring fee, it is a one time payment. Yes, you heard me correct. One time. Uh, I have no idea how long they're going to let me do this, but this is what we have available for you. So if you want to pick up 25,000 messages, it's 25 bucks, 50 bucks or 100 bucks. What I've done for those of you that may decide you want to go in the platinum access, I also wanted to gift you my new music business toolkit, which is a $97 uh offering that i have i want to go ahead and gift that to you and that will it's more teachings from me how to manage your business how to set up you know your royalties properly how to you know get everything that you need when it comes to fan engagement there's a bunch of workshops three-day workshops i did in there my social media for music course and some other cool stuff when it comes to running facebook and instagram ads whole bunch of cool stuff that i'll toss in there for you as well but just go to rickbarker.com forward slash insta after this is done if that interests you at all. Now, if you're just beginning and you don't think that, you know, you don't really know what's happening or anything like that, down at the very bottom of this page, you can start with a free account. Uh, what you'll get is uh, a small number of cents, but they will be branded. Uh, but it'll be a chance for you to check it out because when you claim this deal anyway, it's going to have you sign up for a free account. The only difference is you're going to get a code that's going to automatically upgrade you to lifetime platinum access. So once again, you can go to rickbarker.com forward slash Insta. Uh, does it let you limit the auto response to only happen when you have no DM history with the user? As of this time, it does not. Uh, InstaChamp is a new service, Danielle. Uh, for their what happened with Meta and Facebook is Meta and Facebook were very protective of letting outside developers use what's called their API to come in and do things. But what they have, and I'm sorry, I shook my desk. What they've realized is the longer they can keep people on the platform, the more opportunities they're going to have to show ads to sell them stuff. You guys do understand that Facebook and Instagram, the only way they make money is through selling things. Well, what they realized also is when we're trying to send people off Facebook and Instagram, that was hurting them. So they're like, wait, if we can just work with one of these companies. So they reached out, the, the parent company of Instachamp is called Mobile Monkey. They reached out to Mobile Monkey and they had been doing some stuff with them in the chatbot space and said, hey, if you guys want to create this, we'll go ahead and open up and allow it to happen. So that's how that all came about. It was just somebody had already been doing some great things for them. Uh, the branding is this was sent to you by Mobile Monkey, and that's delivered in the DMs, uh, Miss G. Uh, the, that's funny. All right, so there we have that. So that's the Instagram, Facebook. Uh, that's that's basically the time saver, the game changer, and uh, once again, it's RickBarker.com forward slash insta all right so there you go now let's talk about tiktok here for a second if you are not using these things that i'm about to show you in tiktok you need to start tiktok is by far the best platform when it comes to music discovery it's not the best when it comes to engagement it's the best for discovery and then instagram in my opinion is the best for engagement. So we like to do a combination of both. So let me jump in here real quick and let's open up some TikTok. So TikTok has, how many of you guys have seen these, these open verse challenges or these duets? Okay. You are now having the opportunity basically to sing with other people. 
You don't have to create the music. You don't have to create anything. All you have to do is jump in and DM. If you're fearful of China peaking on, then don't go on it. That's your call. That's your, that's your choice. Okay. But this is a, this is a tool that is changing people's lives. Whether you want to use it or not, this is completely up to you guys individually. Okay. So yes, there, you're not the only person and I'm not saying your name uh, because you asked me to keep this between us. You're not the only person that feels this way. There are other people that feel this way. These are just tools. These are available to you that want to do them. So here's how you do it. You basically go in, you see that this is a duet with Anus or Ains, whatever his name is. So all you have to do is hit duet this and it's going to open it up and it's going to, we'll just start doing it. A lot of pretty faces go waste my time, but you're my dream girl. I'm his dream girl. No, just kidding. We're not going to keep that. But now you see exactly how it is that you could <laughs> that you could do that. Okay. So you go in, you do the duet, and you post it to your, you tag him. And there's they love sharing things that other people are doing. But here's one that I thought was very interesting. How many of you would like to sing Lucas, I hope you with Ryan Tedder from One Republic. Heck yeah. So guess what? I don't know if you've heard one of the biggest songwriters in the world. Most people actually don't know his. Lucas, I hope you like this. <laughs> okay, so I said yes. Yeah. Um, so a lot of So if he posts something. Okay, so once you find somebody doing this, all you have to do is go down to the bottom little right arrow right here. That's the share button. If you share it and it says down at the bottom duet, you can duet it and you can now go ahead and do your duet with Brian Tedder. You can go out, my buddy Cato on the track. He is always telling people. So what you do is you just go into the hashtag. So let's just go in to hashtags and we're going to put Another one that's really cool are called open verse. So there's open verse, open verse challenge. He made it super simple. He made it real easy. And now I get to put my talent, your words, your everything on somebody else's. And then you can save that video. You can then ultimately go over and you can share it on Instagram as well. Inside Reels, they're giving you a chance to do that now. Reels have now gone from 60 seconds now to 90 seconds. They went from 15, 60. So there's so many different ways and opportunities for you to be able to get your music out there. You don't have to be a... Uh, you don't have to live in a town with an amazing producer. Ryan Tedder is one of the best producers in the world. He produced and wrote for Taylor Swift. You know, he's written for everyone. He's one Republic dude. And you could be featured on something that he did. Then you use that to share with your audience. And then you also, once people start engaging with it, once people start digging it, then you can use that to bring in other people. Then if you do a really good job, which this year, Caitlin raps, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that story, but she did an open verse challenge with Russ. And then the next thing you know, she's on 30 sold out dates, opening shows for him, including the show in Nashville that my daughter and her boyfriend went to. And all Caitlin raps did, I have to show you this gal. She's unbelievable. If you do not follow her, you need to follow her. Uh, even if you don't like rap music, just to see what it is that she's got going on. So if I go into Instagram, Caitlin raps. So let me show you the one that she did. This changed the game for her. So here she is on stage, rocking out. Now, this is a girl that she was just simply on TikTok. She went and she answered this. And you guys, oh, here's, here's her doing one with my buddy Kato. I, I got to share this. Let me stop and then share it with the sound because Kato's a rock star. And so is she. All right. Hope you guys don't mind me geeking out on this. 
I just love, love when I find things that are super cool. All right, here we go. Did you guys hear that thunder? Oh, no, here we go. All right, so let me go down into here and let me show you. This is the one that absolutely changed the game for her. And it was with Russ. And <laughs> you're going to go, wait, that's her? If you haven't, uh, where's Russ? Where's Russ? Uh, let's see. Handsomer, handsomer. Here we go. I know I'm fine, but the money makes me handsomer. Walk around smelling like a come up in there answer for her problems, but I'm not him. I don't mind it though. You don't like me how you think you do. I like it though. Look, I know I'm fine. I won't lie, that extra point don't hurt, but I get smarter, baby. I just rather spend yours first. I know for sure the pussy work more than an Air Max purse. I got the best on earth, so that dick better come with some perks. Yeah, you fine, and the money come my eye too. But there's a big difference between you and my side, dude. You be all up in between them sides, you do I like to. You get my titties in your face, you get inside, boo. Yeah, I know I'm fine. Boom. So Russ found Caitlin. He op opened it up to the world. He found her. They went in. They didn't even record the whole entire song. All he did was put that little snippet up on TikTok. It went viral. Then they finished the song. Same thing happened to Cato. So you have the ability, no matter what genre of music you're in, you can go find your style. You can have fun with all of this. And you now have the ability to use other people's talents to help move you further along in your career. All right. So I hope that served you. Uh, so our open verse challenge is where you have to make up your own verse or, or can it also be where you just leave a verse of an existing song for someone to sing? They're all different. Sometimes uh, artists will want you singing along to their song so they can use it to promote. They're all different. You just go find out what's going. You just, you just go find out whichever one works best for you. If you can write, great. If you are new at this, just practice it. As you saw, you can practice it. And if it sounds good, you can share it. And if it doesn't sound good, you don't have to share it. Uh, and it does sometimes work with covers if people are putting uh, covers up. For open verse challenges are mostly producers looking for talent. Let's just cut to the chase. They're producers that are looking for talent because if they if something hits, like what did with Caitlin and what did with Cato, is they now have the ability to take that one song and put it out there and you can make a boatload of money from that one song without them having to sign you to a deal. So it's a great way for them to spot talent, okay? If you suck, don't do it because then all you're going to do is highlight the fact that you suck. So if you're not a good singer, become a better singer. If you're not a good writer, become a better writer. If you've got it going on and you've just been looking for an outlet, then this is the right thing for you, okay? So that's, that's the way you have to look at this, is this is an opportunity to show that you're a badass. That's what it is. Uh, yes, rickbarker.com forward slash Insta is where you go to pick up uh, InstaChamp. All right, so do we have any other questions uh, while you're here? Uh, let me just tell this person uh, worked for, uh, people are here. <laughs> Go ahead, raise uh, in the Q&A part. If you've got a question, type that question so it's easy for me to find. That would be great. Are ads worth paying for on Facebook and Instagram? Yes, they are. Uh, right now, we have the ability to target a specific audience, Danielle. That's, that, and the, basically what we're saying is that we want these specific people to do this specific act and we only get charged when they do. So if you are pinpointing and targeting 
specific people that like your genre of music. You only get charged when they play your bit video. That is a huge thing right now. And it's still the most effective and fastest way to get your music in front of an audience. As a matter of fact, as the bonus that I, for those of you that pick up the platinum version of Instachamp, inside the new music toolkit, you're going to get a Facebook and Instagram ads masterclass from me. And Matt was jumping around here a second ago. Uh, Matt and I did this and we walk you through how to set up Facebook, Instagram, how to create these uh, discovery ads. It's It's been the biggest game changer, I think, for artists who do it right is when people choose to play you, I don't know if you understand how valuable that is. They chose you, okay? They don't choose you when it's on a playlist. It just happens to be there. You don't choose the next song that comes on the radio. It just happens to be there. When we stop what we're doing and we push play on Facebook and Instagram, we chose you. That's massive. So yeah, I think it's still super huge. Is there a method to the cost you invest? Yes, Danielle, we teach all of that inside the Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and you, you start low and then work high. Uh, this is genius. I also recommend people use TikTok. Uh, Evie, I was just showing people how to use TikTok. I don't know what you're talking. Oh, TikTok ads. Yes. TikTok ads. Yes, absolutely. Uh, once again, they're new to the game, but you're getting a targeted audience. The key right now is that targeting. Okay, make sure, I always tell people, get the right message in front of the right audience, get the right music in front of the right audience and make the right offer. So yeah, it's super huge right now. Uh, that's where I'm not very active myself on TikTok as far as posting goes, but we're very active with running ads on TikTok. I'm very active on Instagram. I found that's the channel that I do best. Uh, what's the best way to contact Facebook if they aren't responding to issues? Uh, you just got to keep trying. I don't have a special bat phone number. Uh, you just keep trying whatever one you're trying. Does your toolkit include how to run ads for sounds on reels? No, it does not, Chris. Uh, yeah, we, the, the toolkit is a collection of things that I created. How that came about, by the way, is that I had to plan my death. Basically what I mean, I know it sounds weird, but we were traveling to Africa as a family and when that happened, my life insurance guy said, well, you're giving everything to your kids. So they're traveling with you. So you need to figure out if your whole family dies at one time, who gets this other stuff? And I'm like, ooh, that's kind of gruesome. But I said, hey, if something were to happen to me, what do I have in my library? Because I've been doing this now for over a decade, helping independent artists. I said, what do I have that if I could get it to someone could help change the game for them? And those were these workshops and things like that. So uh, yeah, but all you have to do right now is go on YouTube and type in uh, how to run ads for sounds on reels, and there'll be a teaching and a training that will teach you how to do that. Is there a method to get the blue check mark on Instagram? No, there is not. Uh, you can fill out an application inside IG. Uh, yeah, I, there is no insights to getting verified. I just happen to be verified on all platforms. I was the first one in the music space uh, that teaches it to be because I teach it. Uh, there wasn't anything special that I did. They just realized they, they did it for me. I didn't even ask. I did register for Twitter and got it early on. This was 10 years ago, but then Facebook uh, that was the second one I got. And then when Facebook bought Instagram, I was working at American Idol as a social media mentor and they verified the top 12 and they threw my name in there and said, hey, this guy's working with all our contestants and he teaches people all over the world how to use your platforms. You should verify them. And they did. So that's how I got it. Uh, let's see. Is there a way to post or link to a whole piece of my music? Uh, yeah, you can link to Spotify, Bernie. You could put up a Spotify link and that's a whole piece of your music. Yes. And uh, you can do that on, when you go into Spotify. First, you have to upload it to a platform that you can give people a link to go check to. All right. Uh, let me go in here. Uh, anybody who picked up Instachamp, I want to make sure uh, that you are notified. Let me go here. Uh, Doug Wilson, what's up, man? I see you. You got in there. Cool. All right. Uh, anybody else real quick before I head out of here? I uh, just want to, like I said, once again, I just want to, what are your recommendations on a personal account? You have to have a business account. If you want to be a business, you have to have a business account. You can't run ads for personal. Everything needs to be business on Instagram. It needs to be business or creator. Uh, 
You're welcome. On TikTok. Uh, I don't, I don't, I, I think go, go. It changes all the time on, on what the advantages or disadvantages are. I know that if you're a business, it'll let you put a link in your bio. <clears throat> so just look to see what the advantages are. And if it makes sense to you, great. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. I think that's the biggest difference. Uh, business account, even for, you have to have a business account for Instachamp. Yes. It will not link to a personal and you have to have, so when you sign up for Instachamp, it's going to say, connect with your Facebook page. You're connect, going to connect with a Facebook page that then is also connected to an Instagram page. So yeah, you got to have an Instagram uh, creator and business. Good question. Thank you for asking. All right. So I don't see anything over in the Q&A. Uh, I think I got to everything in the chat. That's why I don't like questions in the chat because depending on how much activity is going on, I could lose it. Uh, you're welcome, Danielle. You're welcome. Uh, perfect. Okay, great. So there you go. So yeah, so once again, Instagram pinning, repurpose, recycle, make sure with Instachamp, that's the game changer time saver for you. TikTok, you're going to use other people's quality stuff to show how amazing that you absolutely are. Uh, and yes, and then if you pick up Instachamp, any level, the 25, the 50, or the 100, you, you determine you'll get the new music uh, business toolkit sent to you as my gift to you. Uh, you'll get two different emails on how to get access to all of that. So you guys have yourself an awesome remainder of your day, and we'll talk again real soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.